Well, so around the Big 12, I feel like there's uh, a, a pretty good slate of, of interesting games this week. Um, and, you know, this one might be the, the most interesting. I don't know. But out of the rest of those that you guys see on that schedule, you know, which, which are you kind of most interested in watching and, and who do you like? Uh, I think that Texas Tech at Texas game is going to be really interesting. Uh, obviously, Texas stomped Rice last week, uh, had a new quarterback in, Casey. He, he played really well. Um, but Tech usually plays well in Austin for some reason. They've got a lot of wins there. And, uh, you know, Tyler Slough, I think that's how you say it. Slough, I think, something like that. Yeah, he was, he was the kid Iowa State beat last year in, at Oregon. Okay. All right. Okay. But anyway, he's, he's played really well for tech. Uh, I, I think they've got a chance to pull off that upset. Mm. Okay. Randy, how about you? I'm looking at, at West Virginia at Oklahoma. I kind of, I kind of like that game. Um, you know, people have said that, that Oklahoma's not playing the greatest. I've read, I've read um, stories and, and some social media stuff where Oklahoma fans are, are grumbling a little bit. My gosh, kind of reminds me of Nebraska fans up here. Um, never satisfied, <laughs> but I don't know what they want. But but anyway, um, um, shout out the shot for all our Nebraska people. But, yeah, yeah. But um, if West Virginia has got the kind of defense that that we we know that that team's getting or, or has and 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 can play and, and trending towards, I think that could be a good. I think that could be a. a a very good game because like I said, Oklahoma has not played the greatest. Um, at least I don't think they've lived up to their expectations of, of, of this team is going to be a world beater and, um, you know, just go back to the opener against Tulane. I mean, my guys, but uh, I, I want, I want to keep an eye on that one. I mean, I, I think Oklahoma will win. It's in, it's in Norman. Um, but, but nonetheless, I think, I think West Virginia, if it, if it gets down to, to a late game situation, I've seen what happens sometimes, and this has not been this team, this Oklahoma team, granted, but I've seen, I saw Iowa State win there with a walk-on quarterback, I don't know, however many years ago, four or five years ago. So, so uh, with a walk-on quarterback and a, quarter, and, and a quarterback, um, Joe Lanning, playing linebacker. So, um, yeah, I, I've seen things happen at Oklahoma. So I, I think I'm going to keep an eye on that one. Yeah, absolutely. Both of those games uh, to me should be worth watching, which we haven't always had that so far this season. You get a lot of, a lot of blowout type games, but um, you know, the one that you guys didn't mention that I'll throw in there is um, it's the iron skillet game is what they call it. TCU versus SMU, you know, uh, crosstown, uh, rival or I guess not not really cross town they're both their own cities but um, Dallas versus Fort Worth you know uh, TCU's been winning games to start the year but Gary Patterson's team uh, about to face a pretty explosive SMU team uh, led by a kid Tanner Mordecai at quarterback who was at Oklahoma uh, he's a former Waco kid right here at uh, Midway High School and I'm gonna be writing a feature story about him, um, talking to him later today. So, um, they've been, they've been lighting it up SMU has. So, uh, this is a legit test for, for Gary Patterson and TCU. And I think that's going to be a, an entertaining game. So we'll see how that <clears throat> comes out. Excuse me. 